everybody. My name is Dawn. I work at the Grable branch of the Allen County Public Library and I'm here today to talk to you about some really cool resources the library has. Maybe you have seen this and maybe you haven't. You know we have books and movies and games and tons of things, but on our website we have a place where you can look at old photos. It's called the Community Album and let's get to it. Let's get right started. I want to show you what it looks like, okay? When you go to our webpage, www.acpl.info, then you get this, right? So here's the library's webpage, and across the top are some sections, and we're going to look at the research section because the first one is the community album. Now, part of being a public library is collecting things that people in our community need and want. We have a huge genealogy department, and they have a huge collection of print things. They have books and um, census records and tons and tons and tons of things. And they also have old photos that they have digitized and put online. So that's what this is, is a place online for us to look and see old photos of things from Fort Wayne and Allen County. People use it for research. They use it um, to find information about their family members and they use it for fun. That's what I use it for. It's divided into sections. Do you see how there's different smaller albums within the Allen County Public Library digital collections, right? Um, some families have whole sections because they've collected quite a bit of things. There are churches, there are community organizations like the Philharmonic down here. There's the Philharmonic scrapbook page. And there are lots and lots of collections, but when you search at the top, you can look at all the collections at the same time. Now, let's pick something to look at that's a place in Fort Wayne and that's been around for a long time so that we can see what kind of photos go along with that search. How about Rudisil Boulevard? Now that's a road, right? Um, I can't talk and spell at the same time. <laughs> okay, if we type in Rudisil Boulevard at the top, it's gonna pull from all of those collections over here on the side. You see over here on the left-hand side, it's telling us what different collections um, it pulled from. And you know what? The firefighters of Fort Wayne have a lot of pictures in the community album. And that's what we're gonna look at is some of the interesting pictures from historic, historic pictures of the firefighters. But the first part of the results, we got 185 pictures and documents. There are some things in here that are just documents that are scanned that you can zoom in and read very easily. I'll show you that at the end of our presentation. But then here's a lot of the firefighter pictures because there's a fire station on Rudisil Boulevard, right? Now, instead of clicking on each of these and showing you some of the interesting things that I found, I just pulled them together in a, in a um, PowerPoint. So we're gonna swap over to the PowerPoint and I'll show you some of the pictures. Now, the first thing that we're gonna see in the PowerPoint is a map of Fort Wayne. That's not from the community album. That's something I pulled offline on Google, right? You can look up maps on Google. So this is Fort Wayne. New Haven's over here on this side and Waynedale's down, down here. This is downtown where all these streets get really, um, where the, the big collection of all these important streets. But down here, a little bit south of downtown Fort Wayne is Rudisil Boulevard. It goes from Foster Park over here to another park over here. And that is what I want to show you that we found for Rudisil Boulevard. Here is a picture of the road, just a random picture of the road from 1973. A lot of the photos are dated in the community album, so you can see exactly when they were taken. I tried to find one from Google Maps, the street view from today, right? This is a more modern picture. Um, I tried to match up the houses and get exactly what I thought I saw in the picture, but I'm not sure I did. It was a little tricky. So that's what Rudisil Boulevard looks like today. And there's fire station number 11. These pictures don't have a date on them, but the fire station was built in the 70s and it's still the same building right now, just a little bit different. The doors look a little bit different. So there's a fire, the fire station on Rudisil. The firefighters have taken pictures of in the past and put pictures and then we've scanned those for our community album. This is another Google Maps street view of what that would look like right now. If you're familiar with this area, kind of back over in here is Southside High School. So um, that's kind of where we are. We're in Fort Wayne near Southside High School and there's the, there's the fire station. So 
Here's what the fire station looked like in 1947. This is a completely different building, right? They had to tear this one down because it got too old at some point and they built a new one that's more functional now. But this is what the fire station looked like in 1947. It was decorated for Christmas. Let me show you some pictures on the inside of this building. The pictures on the inside are from 1929. So we're going backwards in time a little bit. And this says bedroom of fire station number 11, 405 East Russell Boulevard, date 1929. This is quite a picture. They've got some fancy curtains. They've got a fancy rug. And you'll notice some spots on the picture. That's because it's old and it probably got water damage at some point. But it's still a really valuable picture because I can see this guy's getting his boots ready just like they probably do now. Do you think that that room looks like that or that there's a space in the fire department now that looks like this? I don't think so. I don't think they have beds that fancy or curtains that fancy. And notice all the guys are wearing ties. Huh. I don't know if that was just for the photo or if that's really what they look like when they were hanging out at the fire station. But this is a picture of the bedroom at the fire station. Here's a picture of the dining room at the same building at the same time. You see the little tiny scribbles. Somebody wanted to label each of the people in this photo, which now we probably wouldn't go writing on photos to say who is who. But at some point, somebody decided that that was the best way to archive who was in the photo. And so when you look on the digital album online, it, will, it, it writes out who each of those people is because they kind of researched and did a lot of squinting, I guess, to figure out what was written there. But this is a pretty fancy room too. I'm not sure the fire station has anything that looks like that right now. So dining room, let's look at the living room, living room. And here we have um, the people labeled because um, when they took the picture, they knew who, who everyone was. And they, they wrote in the records of the digital album, who was who in the photo. I see a nice plant. I see some more fancy carpets and some more fancy um, window shades. And this weird thing right here, right? So let's go back into the, into the album itself. Hmm. Go back into the album and see what that was because you can zoom in and out in the album in a really cool way. So let's pop back in there. Oops, hold on. And we will find the living room shot. See all these really cool pictures. I didn't even pick all the cool old ones, right? I picked just a few of them. Hmm. There's the outside. Oh, there's pictures of them tearing it down. You know what? We might have to do a different search. Are you DI? There we go. Just add the word living room into our search and we got the picture. Now, here's the picture. If we click on this blue arrow arrow button, we get just the picture by itself. And then over here on the left, there are pluses and minuses to zoom in. I want to know what that thing right there is. I think it's funny that they're playing instruments, but I want to know. Hmm. What do you think? I think it's a fishbowl. I think this is a fishbowl and that's a fish right there. So in the middle of their living room, they're enjoying their time oh, with fishbowl and and this is very likely a radio. Hmm. Interesting. That's a very big radio. You should ask your grandparents or great grandparents about what radios looked like back in the day, right? So this album is very fun to look at. Pick something that you know about in Fort Wayne, type it in the search button, search box, see what you can find and then gather your family around and ask them questions. When we wanna know more about Fort Wayne and we wanna know more about Allen County, we have lots of really great resources. And even if you don't get all your questions answered, it's still really fun to look. So I hope you enjoy and we'll talk more later. Bye.